Hello and welcome back to Mrs. Money Hacker. I'm Megan from MrsMoneyHacker.com and today, today I'm excited to announce the launch of uh, my brand new members area where you can gain access to all of my spreadsheets and templates that I've been fine-tuning over the last number of years um, and I'd, I'd say have literally taken hundreds of hours to, to compile at this stage. So um, if you would like to sign up and support the blog, you can gain access to these templates yourself. And we'll jump over to the blog now just to, to do the, the official unveiling and, and walk through some of the templates and, and what you can gain access to by signing up. Okay, so here we are over in the blog. When Once you've signed up to the members area, you'll get access to this templates page. And here you'll have access to all of the templates, all of the latest versions of the templates as I continue to update them, as I continue to learn new things and as tax, um, tax implications change. So starting with the, the very first step on your financial independence journey is to track your expenses and to know where your money is going. So there's a handy expense tracker template here with attempting auto -cat categorization. And what this will do is allow you to copy and paste from your bank statements or extract from your bank statements and copy and paste from, from the CSV into this template and then drag a formula down and it'll automatically attempt to categorize based on a list of payees that I've implemented myself um, based on all of my expenditure over the last number of years. Um, but of course, this is all customizable and you can add your frequent payees uh, and, and the category that they should automatically be assigned and then the formula will automatically pick them up the next time you get that expense in. So the more you use it, the, the more categories will be automatically assigned, which will obviously speed up your expense tracking um, so that you can gain knowledge from the reporting on it when you roll up all the expenses into these categories. And I can show you examples of the spreadsheet when we get into it. Then there's the financial independence calculator. And in this calculator, you'll be able to put in all of your own criteria from where your, where your existing investments are at, uh, what your starting point is, what you plan to invest per month into each category. So I've got ETFs, stocks, and pensions. Um, so those are the main, as well as your mortgage. So you can fine tune all of those different criteria and see the impact that it has on your time to financial independence. And financial independence, again, for those that aren't familiar, is when your portfolio reaches a size that the, the passive or the, the cash flow from that, the annual cash flow from that portfolio is enough to cover your annual living expenses. So you no longer need to work for money. And this calculator helps you figure out how much time it's going to take for you to get to that size of a portfolio based on the criteria that you put in. So say, for example, you get a raise and you're now able to invest a little bit more. You just plug that, that figure in and it'll tell you how much time you're shaving off your time to financial independence. And also will help you decide what investment method to pursue based on your own personal goals. So you can, you know, if you're if you're considering paying down your mortgage versus investing first, or if you want to invest alongside paying down your mortgage, or if you're not sure whether you should maximize your pension and avail of employer matching, um, you know, you can put in all of those different variables and see the impact on your time to financial independence. And then there's a number of investment worksheets. So there's the how much can I invest calculator and this takes into account um, all of the Irish specific tax credits um, and USC and PRSI calculations and all of that. And this spreadsheet can be really helpful when you're trying to weigh some life options. So if you're just starting out investing and you know, you've gone through the stages of tracking your expenses, you have a clear picture of, of how much money you spend per year and you know how much you make and and you know how much you want to invest in your pension or whatever, this calculator will tell you the net impact on your income and your take home 
uh, based on the different variables that you put in the calculator. So this is really useful if you're you know, considering taking a promotion, for example, and you're weighing the option of you know, taking on additional responsibility against the actual take home impact that you'll get after taxes. This calculator can help you decide if you're going down to one income and you wanna see can you make it work based on your current outgoing annual expenses, um, and your additional tax credits you may be eligible for based on going down to one income. Um, you, can, you can use this calculator to weigh those options as well. And also if you're looking to increase your pension contributions to avail of, of pension or employer matching, if you're starting a new job, you can you simply plug these figures in and you can see what the maximum amount you can put into a pension before your take home is reduced to a point where you can no longer cover your annual expenses. So it's a really handy visual calculator. You just, you know, tweak the numbers and um, it'll help you make the decision. Once you have those figures, all of these templates kind of feed together um, to, to go into the financial independence calculator. And, and I'll show examples of that as we get into them. Um, then there's a portfolio builder, so if you're trying to figure out your ideal allocation rate or the actual weighted annual fees and returns you're, you can expect to get based on certain assets, you can fill this spreadsheet out and it'll, it'll automatically calculate your, uh, your annual weighted fees and your annual expected returns based on the allocations that you're putting to each um, investment vehicle. So for example, say you're putting 75% into ETFs and 25% into stocks, you just put in the figures and it'll tell you uh, the, the, the weighted return of the impact of putting that allocation against ETFs and stocks, for example. And then there's an investment property worksheet. So if you are ever considering buying a, an investment property, you can launch this up and put in your own personal figures and it'll help you figure out what rent you need to charge in order to be cash flow positive after taxes um, and also help you figure out your true rate of return after taxes and expenses um, are all taken into account. So that's kind of what's in there at the moment um, and I'll be continually adding to it as, as we go um, and updating these along the way and I'll also be doing some additional videos on um, how to use these templates so that you can work alongside and figure out your own quickest path to financial independence. For me, the, the hardest thing to do was to figure out the plan. Um, what investment vehicle is best for me? What do I put my focus on? Um, you know, figuring out that how do I invest and, and all of that came secondary to what should I invest in? And this toolkit should help you get closer to figuring that out, which is to me the hardest step um, in terms of working towards financial independence. So that's the summary of all the templates that I have up to date. Um, these templates essentially form the basis of my personal consultations that I was getting up to 300 euro per client to complete. Um, obviously it was a bit more than, than just plugging in some figures, but um, hopefully by making these available at a more affordable price, we'll make it more accessible to a wider range of people and, and, and help as many people as possible to work towards their own path towards financial independence. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to help support the blog. Thank you.